all right so uh i always try to start the video with uh where we're at like i said uh the hike you get is not always the one you planned on i was going to go back out to uh, sunny hill and show you guys a hike i did yesterday but the weather was just too perfect and it's you know it's a long long haul for me to get here but i woke up early this morning and we were able to get here pretty early so we are at the Halpata Tastanaki Preserve. I hope I pronounced that right. And uh, so this is, uh, we're just off of 200. Now just down the road, you know, I'm always all about the bathrooms, um, is Ross Prairie. And a uh, real nice bathroom facility there if you if you needed to, to use it on your way in or way out. Um, but we're going to be starting right here. And then uh, just to kind of work our way around the area. It looks like there's a bathroom right there. Huh. Anyway, I've never been here. I'm, I'm loaded for bear. I got the bear spray. I got uh, got the hiking pants on, hiking shoes. Yeah, there you go. So uh, who knows what to expect. I mean, it looks pretty easy here at the beginning. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the, uh, the other. Uh, there's the chariot over there. But uh, so this is uh, this is the sign. Should be some. I can't wait to see what fishing they've got back in here. You know, because that's the fish sign right there. And uh, looks like you just kind of go down this road. Let's get started. Uh, I got all day today. I got, uh, like I said, I got up really early. And uh, even though it's a long haul to get here, we're getting started before noon. And uh, so that gives us. Uh, I can only hike about four hours. So, uh, but you saw that it's a loop. So we'll just go on down in here and uh, enjoy the hike. You know, when I see something different, we'll get some more video. Uh, you know, like I said, no idea what to expect. I mean, it could just be a road like this most of the way. But uh, I've been wanting to hike this because I saw it where I found it by accident. Nobody, you see, nobody mentions it. That's why I'm making all these videos, you know? Nobody has told me about any of these trails I've just kind of been riding around finding them on my own. You go online, you know, unless you know the, the, the name of the trail, you know, there's no one place that I found to go and say, hey, here's all the trails in Central Florida that you can go do uh, around the area. So, uh, but I, I think it's gonna be really nice. We got uh, two, two bottles of water, an apple, some snacks, we're just gonna make a whole day out of it and uh, hope you guys enjoy the hike. I know I will. And uh, it's gonna be a nice day. I got a good breeze. And that, that was another reason I came out here was the weather. Um, it's gonna get start getting really hot. Uh, Sunday, it's supposed to be back up into the 90s. And uh, you know, if I'm, that's, that's when Sunny Hill would be a really good hike uh, because it's by the river and uh, you know, so I wouldn't want to be out here, you know, on a 90, 100 degree day, uh, you know, hiking this. You know, this doesn't look too bad so far in the beginning, but uh, who knows what we're going to get. So we'll just continue on and we'll get it when uh, the scenery changes. So I'm not too far into the hike, but uh, you can see it goes left here. And then it just goes this way. I'm just going to keep going this way. I just wanted to show you. You know, who knows, we'll be back here a couple, three, four times uh, trying to hike the whole thing. That's, uh, that's the beauty of, uh, of hiking, you know, especially here in central Florida is, uh, you know, you can go back to the same area a lot of times, multiple times, and get a good hike in. But, uh, you know, not much to see. It, no shade right now, you know, just wide open. I didn't know what to expect uh, with this hike. Uh, Man, I tell you, it's a, it's a long motorcycle ride out here. You know, you got to go fast and furious. There's always somebody behind you wants to do, you know, 70 miles an hour in a doggone 55 mile an hour zone. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I always try to get the weird stuff on the video. No clue. <laughs> it's got this little uh, weird antenna on it right there. And there's another one over there with no antenna, and you got these right up here, one right there, and one right there, huh? I don't know what they would be. Got a 
lock on it. That one's kind of rusty, but this one looks fairly new, so who knows? But I uh, to get back to the trail, uh, just just some notes for you. You wouldn't want to be here on a extremely hot day. That sun, when it was out, just reflects right off of that white sand. And uh, you can see the main road is just continuing on in this direction here. But it looks like there's another offshoot going this way. So I don't know if we'll get it all hiked in today. Here's a bird. Check him out. Let's enjoy that for just a minute. Doo -doo. All right. Oh, he's coming right over top. Man, I love being out here with the birds. All right. Well, we just came down this. You can see it's a sandy hike. Slow going. Uh, I just saw this, you know, this kind of is an offshoot to the left. You do have this uh, beautiful open area here. And uh, I'm gonna continue going the other direction, but I just thought I'd try to get this on the video. So I'm not sure. I guess this would be kind of another trail that just kind of looks to me like it's going alongside what I just came down. So, but uh, let's just get this open area here. You know, that is pretty, I have to admit. I That's good to, good to see it. All right. Well, we got a big open field here to the left. Boy, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't want to be here on a hot day. I mean, it's uh, it's it's in the 80s or high 80s today, and uh, you know I'm feeling it already. I got plenty of water, thank God, and because uh, there's just no shade, you're just kind of hiking along this uh, road here. I'm not sure where I'm where I'm going. There's another bird, and uh, like I said, we'll just just keep going on down. And uh, am I enjoying this hike? Nah, I mean it's okay. You know, I, any hike is okay, but I mean. It, Given my preference, I'd rather be on the Florida Trail uh, doing that hike from uh, Ross Prairie to Pruitt. That was one hell of a great hike. Uh, just, to, you know, being back in the forest. I like being in the shade. I, you know, if, here's, a, here's another offshoot. Well, you can really just kind of hike around back here for, for a while and get yourself lost. I'm just staying on the main road for now. But uh, I haven't seen any, any wildlife except birds. And uh, that's about it. I thought I'd get this on the video. It's just kind of walking beside the trail. Boy, you feel like you're on an African safari, don't you? Look at the size of that field area. Expecting to see a few elephants and a, and a couple of lions out there. All right. Not sure what the point of this sign is, but uh, you can see the main road still going this way. You do have a little offshoot here, and it's showing you hiking. But uh, seems to me, <laughs> I don't know if it's if it's our uh, our rangers and everything, but a lot of people have been four wheeling back here. Now, how they got the vehicles back here, I would think you have to be a uh, a government employee. Now it would be fun to bring a four-wheel drive or an ADV and just just tear up these roads, but uh, they're certainly not fun hiking, and I don't see any footprints, you know. So I didn't, you see that little hiking sign there? Oh yeah, this is great hiking. Uh, you can see the sand's deep and it's slow going. So I really couldn't recommend this hike. Uh, I mean, if you just want to get some exercise, it's it's good, but you can see there's just not a whole lot to it. And uh, mainly it's just for vehicles, from what I can tell. Because you can see there's been a lot of vehicles back here with the treads and no footprints. All right. Well, I hope you can see it on the video. Here's a hunting tree stand. He even got his uh, bug netting up there to hang out to uh, hunt deer. I haven't seen any deer. But, uh, and I guess that might be private property because it's behind the fence. So... But uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. You'd come out here and just sit and try to hunt. All right. Thought I'd just get a quick clip. It's like Groundhog Day. <laughs> you can see it just just stretches on back. Uh, kind of uneven sand, tough hiking. So we're heading that way. 
and we came from that so I mean no shade you know if, I understand they want a fire break but uh, I would at least let this grow in a little bit so that you have some sort of shade so all right so I saw this off to the side no vehicles beyond this point so I just thought I'd hike up here a little ways see what uh, what I see just to get off of the, the main road there for just a second but I thought that was interesting that there's a sign there uh, I mean that's good I wish there's no vehicles through the whole thing and you just uh, well the only thing maybe something to come back and cut the grass but, but uh, let that road grow in if it's supposed to be a hiking trail it's, seems to me it's more of a four-wheeling uh, place for uh, people to or the uh, government employees to come and go four-wheeling from what I can tell all right so I'm about an hour in, <coughs> into the hike I'm gonna get some water but I thought I'd do a panoramic you are back in here I mean you know it's a uh, you're long I'm a, I'm a good hour into the hike and uh, you know there's no roads no no buildings nothing so let's just do a panoramic real quick All right, so we'll just keep on going and uh, I'm gonna get some water and uh, you know that's one thing I would suggest on this particular hike uh, bring a lot of water so I'm just taking a break we got a fork in the road it says hunt area boundary no hunting past this point I guess they didn't see that tree stand that I, <laughs> that I passed a while back <laughs> but uh, we're at 10 whatever 10 means now I you can see the trails are going all different directions here. You got uh, the one going right. You got this one going further back into the, uh, I guess, uh, forest here, if you can call this a forest. And then you got this one going this way. So uh, I guess I'll just take this one and just keep going deeper. Um, I don't know where this water is. You know, they said fishing. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen any fishing. All right. Well, I thought I'd get this on the video. You can tell they've done a controlled burn in here. Kind of just an open area. And we do have some dense foliage now coming up on the side. So that's good. And maybe we're going to get back into the trees back here. Be, that sure would be nice. Well, at least we got a little different look now. It's tightened up a bit. And uh, more like a forest now. You can kind of see the trees off in the distance here. If it wasn't so sandy, I would really, you know, I wouldn't mind coming back here again. But I wouldn't, man, you wouldn't want to be here on a hot day. That's for doggone sure. And uh, it's tough hiking in the sand. But uh, at least it's, uh, at least, you know, at least now it looks like a trail a little bit. You know, it's not, uh, not just wide open. So this is good. Well, you could get yourself <laughs> quite lost back here. You got this here, and it shows hiking, bicycling, and I'd love to see somebody ride a bicycle back here. I don't see how you could with this deep sand, but uh, maybe maybe some people can. I don't know. And uh, But you know, the trail, the main trail looks, but there's an eight on this post up here. I'm not sure what that means. Is going this way. But this looks like a better hike going this way. So let's go... Let's go down here and uh because it does still could tighten it up just a little bit maybe i'll get some shade well i would have liked to have found where i could fish but i'm gonna be turning back soon but i uh, when i come back yeah i mean you're way back here it's just tough hiking in the sand maybe that's why i'm feeling like i got to turn back. i was gonna hike about two hours in and two hours back uh so that's uh that's four hours that's plenty for me i don't want to do more than that and then I'm going to go to the VFW and make jalapeno poppers out of my, using the jalapenos from my garden. There you go. All right, but you kind of see it's, uh, 
it's tightened up quite a bit and you were you know it's a great here in Florida that we have preserved places like this because I don't know how big this area is but it must be huge I mean I'm I'm a good hour and a half into the hike and you, you can just see there's I mean no no civilization no roads just let's just get a little quiet time let you enjoy the trail just a little bit here since I'm not going to be taking that much more of a video because I don't think it's going to change a whole lot check him out hopefully you can see that deer scared the hell out of me <laughs> I must have came I must have snuck up on him because he uh he jumped right through that bush right there and uh, real close to me. But uh, I guess I'm not frightening him. Boy, the hunters would be going crazy right now, wouldn't they? Huh. Beautiful animals. All right. Now we're getting a real hike. I like the, uh, the canopy with the woods off to the side. And... Uh, Look at that, it's no longer just coming down a dirt road. So all I did was I came way down and took that left hand turn and I'm really enjoying this. Uh, finally got some shade. Oh man, this is, uh, this is, this is, this, if you, can, if you can get all the way to here, this is a nice hike. This is, this is what you live for when you go out hiking. And it's, you can see the sand's not so, so thick here. It's uh, pretty easy hiking on this. Enjoying the woods and and finally some shade. It's a uh, I don't know. We'd have to take some of those other trails and see what they look like someday. You know, if you could get more of this, it'd be definitely worth coming back here and hiking. But it was a it was a it took me an hour and a half just to get here to get to where the hike was uh, enjoyable like this. But uh, that's cool. I just wish I didn't. <laughs> Once again, I wish I didn't have to hike back. Oh man, that's gonna be brutal. All right See when you get to this point in the journey the dilemma hits you Okay, obviously if I go to the right, I'm going further away. I'm pretty sure and uh, We just came down that So The curiosity is is if we go this way is it going to start taking me back to the parking area? Because I really don't want to hike, you know, six, seven hours today. Because if I get an hour down this and I realize I'm not heading back to the parking lot, then, then I got three hours, <laughs> three hour hike back. So check out the helicopters. See them up there? We do have a lot of helicopters here. I don't know. I guess I'll just go down this way a little ways and see uh, see what I see. Okay, call me incredibly stupid, because I am. We came up this. You could go this way, or go this way, or hike back the way I came. Because <laughs> I'm lost. I mean, if I went back the way I came, I wouldn't be lost. But if I just continue... Hiking around here. I wish they had some sort of uh, uh, You know numbers on the posts or something, you know, because they got the little they put the little hiking symbols up on the trees, but uh, I Don't know I guess so uh, we'll find out All right call me crazy rather than turn back and retrace my steps I brought out the compass on the phone here and uh, if I'm understanding things correctly, I should be heading west. And if, if you go west long enough, that'll take me back to 200. Uh, maybe not the same area, but I mean, if I just get to the main, the main road. So, uh, I don't know. Definitely am lost at this point. Uh, well, when I say lost, I could still retrace my steps, but I'm too, too committed to going what I believe is... Uh, southwest here according to the compass and uh did, should i have brought a, a regular compass with me yes i should have just wasn't expecting you know because when you look at the picture of the sign it doesn't look like a very complicated hike but uh 
Who knows? Who knows? All right, I chickened out and I backtracked. And uh, I'm sure you recognize this from an earlier clip. So uh, I know I'm going the right way back now, which is good. I've already stayed, overstayed my welcome. I got a long hike back. But uh, anyway, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this road up here that comes in. And that's where I would have come in. But, but I was chicken, you know. I just said, man, oh man, I'm going the wrong way. This is getting into a long day. So, you know, this gets me under the skin. Uh, yeah, sometimes you got to trust in your own sense of direction. But uh, this is, I'm 99% certain this is the road I was hiking down when I turned around and backtracked, adding a bunch to my journey. And uh, I would have recognized this right here to know when to make the turn to head back to to the uh, parking lot. But uh, one, you know, one thing I will do in the future is uh, cut the compass on as I'm leaving the parking lot and determine, you know, the exact uh, vector that I'm taking. You know, am I going? Am I, in this case, I was probably going southwest. Uh, you know, and then so then you know you got to head back northeast. And uh, so, you know, you, you could eventually work your way back just knowing, you know, the direction that you took. But, uh, you know, most hikes are just, uh, there's not so many turns. I mean, you could hike around back here for a long time and not hike all of these roads. Like I said, it's a tough hike, man. My, my feet are hurting right now from walking in the sand, you know. And, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it was a good day. Uh, let's summarize the hike. Uh, no shade, you know, sunny. You wouldn't want to do this on a hot day without a without a breeze. That's you would just suffer. Uh, especially, uh, you know, and even you'd even want to hit a partly cloudy day like I did today, because uh, even then I still got baked. Um, so I guess uh, what I recommend this hike. I mean, sure, if it's a nice cool day, in the um, and you don't mind hiking in the sand, uh, you know, there's there was a section back there that was really nice very brief you know but most of it looks just like this all right well i might put this up on a video when i get home and then uh got a uh, cold one waiting for him back at the motorcycle and uh we'll call it a day at that you guys peace out so on my way back i thought i'd get to stop and smell the roses look at that plant that's pretty cool looking huh i just happened to see it and then over here I didn't even, you know, this cactus right here with flower on it. Yeah, that's cool.